Boone. Whether you've got grandparents visiting you in Greenville this season or you're just looking for some fun ways to spend some quality time, Christina Hernandez from Kidding Around Greenville has uh, lots of great ideas. Welcome. Glad to see you. Thanks. Thanks for having me. Um, you've got a good article on this, and you break it down by activity level. So mm -hmm. we'll start with some of your recommendations that involve the least amount of walking. Um, you've yeah. got a good list of arts and crafts options. This makes for a really easy and comfortable time together. It does. You just got to sit down someplace, right? There's like no walking involved. And then you get to do like super creative things. Like you can paint or you can make yeah. pottery or you can color. And then like some places like the Treehouse Cafe and Traveler's Rest, they have like lunch options and coffee, which you know, is always needed. Yeah. So. <laughs> and then you talked about um, the pottery at Hallowed Earth. There's mm -hmm. there's painting it at Color Clay Cafe if you just want to show up and paint. So yeah. yeah, yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, those places like you pay a studio fee and then you just sit down and you can pick out whatever pottery yeah. you want, a mug or a plate or whatever, and you just sit there and paint. It's yeah. relaxing. And you just think of all the all the fun times that are shared between kids and grandparents, just exactly. sitting and painting, and being creative. They love that. Yep. Um, you also know from personal experience that the model train station in Taylor's is a real winner. Yeah. What happens there? Yeah, another like low activity place. You can walk around and see all kinds of like really neat model trains and like little, you know, environments that they make with yeah. trees and people. It's really cute. Yeah, yeah, a lot of cute detail there. And then what about the Starry Nights at Rover Mountain Science Center? This really is entertainment for, for all ages. Yeah, usually like kids around five or six, oh, late, later than that would be a little bit better, but mm -hmm. it's awesome. They do like an entire like night sky shot in their planetarium and you can, they tell you like what's, what constellations are out and then they do a show. Yeah. Um, and the, and the seats are really comfy too. Yeah. I'm a big fan. And the seats are comfy, but people forget <laughs> um, that is an option. Uh, yeah. One easy activity that, that grandparents and everybody loves. Yeah. Simply taking a drive on the Blue Ridge Parkway. What kind oh, of uh, engagement happens when you're in a car on the Blue Ridge Parkway? You know, I'm a big fan of nature. So <laughs> any, I'll take any chance I can to get out in nature. And you never can go wrong taking a drive up there on the parkway. Bring a picnic. I mean, any time of year. That shot is from the fall. I mean, it is just... It's really stunning up there, and we've we've hiked up there too. There's some really short trails, but if grandparents just want to like hang out too while you take the kids up to like a short trail and overlook, yeah. like that's fine too. And they'll, you know, it's a great area to just just enjoy the beauty of you know that that is up in North Carolina. I yeah. mean, it's it's so gorgeous out there. They yeah. can sit and enjoy that scenic yeah. beauty, and you know, it's just good memories are, are made it that is. way. Um, yeah. And then being outdoorsy, you talk about the Cradle of Forestry, where you've also yeah. had a really great experience. So at work. if you go to the Parkway, you can actually like stop at the Cradle of Forestry. This is near Brevard, and they have like an indoor helicopter ride. It's really cool. Oh, there it is. Yeah, <laughs> and so they it really looks like you're in a, in a helicopter, but they have all kinds of really neat things. It was actually started by. Uh, the Vanderbilt uh, family and they, who owns the Biltmore, who yeah. built the Biltmore. And so they were really into forestry. And so this is what they started to kind of like study the area. And then eventually they donated this land. And uh, there's like a one room schoolhouse there and there's That's like really super. short trails. Yeah, it's awesome. I didn't know about that one, but I'm putting yeah. that helicopter right on my list. It's really cool. feels like one. <laughs> um, and of course, a good old fashioned playground makes for a fun, easy yeah. outing. You just say, you know, plan this ahead, look for places that are, are shaded and there's places to sit, maybe fenced in helps. Fenced in always helps. <laughs> When, yeah. when you have kids, I'm you a don't big like fan. chase those kids. <laughs> no, Me especially neither. with grandparents. Like, yeah, I mean, there's so many great playgrounds in our area. We have a we have a guide, so you can search by like wherever you live, and then shaded and closed. Um, yeah. Or if it's a cool day and you want like sunny playgrounds, you yeah. can do that also. But it's kind of fun. I like the specialty. So you know, things yeah. to do with grandparents because yes, you know, you're gonna get into a few other activities and, and looking for all these ideas in your website is really helpful. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Um, people can find the advice your complete article on Kidding Around Greenville. We've got a link on accesscarolina.com. But lots of ways to find Kidding Around Greenville. Christina, we appreciate you, Thank you. very much. All that on screen now. Thanks.